It's the only South African Cape Dutch architecture in Napa Valley. The winery was founded by a South African couple in 1983 and they built this beautiful building. The moment that people kind of walk up and see the architecture and walk through the door, we're trying to provoke thought. We're trying to have them have an interesting experience. So we have an artist here today who's installed a show of her works uh, and you're gonna get to meet her today. She's in the winery and we can go in and start our fun. Renee Schuler is a Chicago-based artist working in multimedia techniques. This show is called Cameo. I sculpt the figures onto the canvas, kind of in the same way that cameos were created. They were sculpted. Um, but also because I have several different styles of work in this show, all of them sort of making a cameo appearance for the very first time. I have bronze sculptures, I have steel wire sculptures, I have oil paintings, I have works on paper, India inks, mixed media. I've never shown them in one place before. I try to convey a sense of strength and peace and serenity and I try to convey all of that through the, the technique. I only use a palette knife when I paint and I apply multiple layers of paint and I kind of apply it and I take it back and I scratch and hack at the surface just to create a, a bit of tension on there. Texture and combination of colors is a hallmark of Renee's work. At the time I painted these, I had a show that was moving from Paris to Greece, and so I was inspired by the colors of Greece, and I was using fashion models as my, my muses for the work, and I just created this triptych for that exhibition. Being that we're at a winery, Renee painted a series of wine bottles. It's for a special collaboration with John Tolato called The Artist and the Artisan. We were talking about her art and our art, ours being inside the bottle, hers being more visible. Um, and so I thought maybe we, you can put some original works of art on the outside of the bottles. Our art will be on the inside. I didn't realize the complexity of painting on glass. Uh, Renee did, but she agreed to do it anyway. It's a bit of a process. Um, you have to etch the glass. And then I used a self-etching primer to go on next. And then it's just multiple layers of acrylic paint and then varnish. A focal point of the show is a large canvas called Hope. Renee says she paints in an abstract style. Renee curated the show and chose where she wanted to display each work of art. John's family, his father, Antony, and brother Bill, have owned Chimney Rock since 2004. Both his grandfathers began as wine retailers in Chicago. Uh, my father joined the, co the company, his father's uh, retail store in 1955 and had this dream that someday he wanted to be a winemaker. So he went from the retail business in Chicago to wholesale, to import, to export, to winery ownership in about 40 years. Our mantra as a family is that quality endures. And we believe that really high quality things are potentially multi-generational. That's why art is so important to John, inside or outside the bottle. What we're, we're trying to do with our wines, when people put our wines to their lips and they taste them, is to make them think about it, right? To make them think about a place, to make them think about something that they're tasting. I think art's very much the same way. So is music and so is architecture. 